So is it possible to play high-end games on a $170 no-name smartphone that a lot of people believe that if it's not Samsung or Apple or a device that costs $1,000 with high-end processors and 100 gigs of RAM, there is no way a device can perform at a high level, especially with a MediaTek processor. No way, no how. Well, I've been using the new mobile A25 for about a week. And all I'm going to do in this video is give you some commentary and give you some gameplay with battery life and a heat test as I play these games. So let's have uh, some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So the new mobile is a $170 smartphone with a MediaTek G99 processor that's clocked at 2.2 gigahertz. We got six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage running Android 13 to boot. It has a 6.7 inch full HD AMOLED 120 hertz display here. So with these mid-range specs, with these mid-range specs, I've been preaching this for years that yes, mid-range devices are powerful. And I don't even know why we even call it a mid-range, but yes, we go call it mid-rangers. So first game on the list is Genshin Impact, a high-end game that's supposed to tax the CPU and the GPU. And you know what? Here's my thoughts about this game. Now, the load time was a little long, which is expected with Genshin Impact, even with high-end phones you get a bit of a long load time on devices but it's playable look i didn't get no stuttering no hiccups and again the load time was a bit long but the gameplay was great now i'm not a genshin impact player so i mean i'm not that great at this game but i wanted to play the game so y'all guys can see that yes the new mobile a25 could play this game with no problem So next game on the list is PUBG Mobile, baby. Another game that's really taxing on the device. Now looking at the graphics, it's absolutely beautiful on this device. And again, once you load it up, it's no stuttering, no hiccup. And look, gameplay is very, very good here. Even with the 120 hertz display, you're getting a very smooth experience overall. Now I, have, I haven't played this game in a while. But I just wanted to show you that it's possible to play PUBG Mobile at whatever settings you want to put it on, on this device, and you will get a very good experience. Look, I've been playing a lot of games on this device for the past couple of days, and I was overall impressed on how the game play on this device, especially with this beautiful display, this AMOLED display, you get deep blacks and vivid colors. And you know what? This is great. Right, this is great. Now, since this game here I've been playing, it's been overall about 20 to 25 minutes, and surprisingly, the battery life is still good here. Now, you got to remember, 5,000 milliamp battery on this thing. So, yes, it is good. And the temperature is below what I expected. Now, it's a little warm to the touch, but you know what? It's still playable, and you can still hold a device. Gameplay has been great here, especially with this game that I'm playing so far. So let's move on to the next game. So in this game, I wanted to use a controller, a Bluetooth controller. And you know what? Pairing it up is easy and it works very well. Now the game that I'm playing right here is Modern Combat 5. And as you can see, the gameplay is very good. Now the controller I'm using again is Bluetooth, has light latency, hardly no latency at all, which is very, very good. Now the graphics on here is really good. I mean, over the top graphics, beautiful details here with this game. And it's very playable, very playable on the new mobile 
825. So the next game on the list is one of my favorites, Day Trigger 2. And yes, the new mobile A25 played this game with no problem, without even breaking a sweat. Now this is a fast paced game that you got enemies everywhere, you're constantly moving, you got a lot of stuff going on on the display. I mean, it's a lot of stuff going on at one time, which really, again, taxes the GPU and CPU. And again, this game is playing very well. Now I use Day Trigger 2 as a benchmark test for device performance. If a device can play this game, it usually can play any game in the app store. So the last game in the mix is a very high end game, which is called Future Fight. Without a doubt, this game right here will peek out everything on the device. It has multiple characters and enemies and a lot of fighting going on all at one time. It's a very fast paced game and it will definitely tax your GPU and CPU. Look, I will let you know right now, this device runs it well. Now this game right here, this game will let you know if your smartphone is good or trash. And yes, the phone did get a little warm playing this game, but it never reached the point of being uncomfortable. And the temperature was not going across the threshold, which is a good thing. And I'm gonna tell you, playing this game, I would never think that a device that costs under $200 can play a game that's taxing this hard on the CPU and GPU. But you know what? This new mobile A25 is playing it with no problem. So here's my final thoughts about the performance of the new mobile A25. If you take away the name, if you didn't even know who made the device, if you didn't know the specs of the device, and all you did was play games, you wouldn't think that this was a device that cost under $200. You would think that this is a high-end smartphone that costs a lot of money because of the beautiful display and the smooth gameplay. And I'm not lying about that. Listen, do you have a lot of devices that can play games and doesn't break the bank? Listen, I could tell you this much. The new mobile A25 passes my gaming test. I'm gonna give it about an eight out of 10. I took a couple of points off due to the load times. Look, it got to give it a little more time as far as load times. And the, another point I took off is because it doesn't have stereo speakers. That would have given it more of a good experience if you had stereo speakers out of this device. Listen, I really do like this phone at this price point. I'm gonna give it a win. If you want to see more gaming tests on budget devices, stay tuned and subscribe. This is Eric the Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the new mobile A25 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.